I want to take some time and help you understand uh, a bit about our GPR systems, our glue pull repair systems, and particularly our level one system versus our level two E system. Hello, Chris White with Kiko Body Repair Products. When you think about glue pull repair and the way we um, handle what's possible with glue pull repair is that we've created what we call the repair continuum. And we think of the repair continuum as a dent before it's ever touched, so at rough out stage, and then after it's completed to a full level of flatness, perfect, put back to factory standards, whether that be with paint or whether that be paintless. Every repair that happens around the world fits within this repair continuum. What repairs, what types of repairs will be possible with one system versus another? The, 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 the level one rough out system is exactly half of the continuum. It's not the full repair pathway uh, to allow a flatter and flatter panel all the way to at the very end is is you know kind of a paintless level. You 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 can't do that you know with the level one system. But what's great about the level one is that you know all of our uh, many of our patented um, rough out tabs and the, and the and the tools like our K bar K beam you know many of our bigger lifting tools so many tools that are in that level one, but when it comes to the, the tabs, it's really the tabs that are built for the bigger damage to, to very quickly minimize that bigger damage uh, and get it to a point where it's not flat, it's nowhere near paintless, and actually probably requires a, a, a fair amount of filler. Because in those, in that system, it's lacking uh, the, the smaller finished tabs, the intermediate tabs that, that help get your, uh, get your damage to a um, finer level, and then also the lifting tools that allow you to do the finer detailed work and the intermediate work, like things like our robo lifter that um, uses large surface area to attack a dent and quickly minimize and, and bring in the, the size of that repair to a, a more manageable level. But again, with that level one system, you don't get any of the finesse, any of the any of the finish stuff. And, and you know, when, when folks come to a, a trade show or they call us on the phone or whether there'd be many that would say, listen, I, I, that's all I need. I just need that, that rough out. And then we begin to talk about things like blend panels and how much more how, how uh, inefficient it is and you know to, to do blend panels and and when you have a small piece of damage um, in a conventional repair method that's non glue pull then you're going to be putting filler and even those smaller dents you put filler in those smaller dents and you're going to be doing blend panels and so basically by having the the level 2e system now you're gonna save those blend panels because we can get those to a, what we call blockable level where they don't require filler, right? So that, that's one of the major advantages of having that, um, uh, that, that, that full system. And again, you know, it's not just the tabs because of course you've gotta have the tabs to be able to do the smaller damage. It, but you also have to have the lifting tool to do that, right? It's a different lifting tool than the bigger damage. And you also have to have the knockdown because as the as the damage as the dent gets smaller, so does the high spot. So the 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 tool that you attack that high spot with has to change, just like the lifting tool, just like the tab. So as you move to that the right part of the continuum and get flatter and flatter, and able to save blend panels, able to get to a, a smaller amount of filler, able to get to um, like a glaze level, like one of the things that uh, Danny Hacker, you know, who uh, many of you may know uh, is our 
Uh, he's the face of, of, of Kiko in the U.S. for sure. And, and Danny is a 20-something year collision technician that is, you know, ridiculously talented. A lot of you guys have seen his seen his work. And, you know, one of the things that I've heard him say over and over again is that, look, you know, when you, every repair, as you get it from rough out and, you know, you're, you get close to ready for filler, just a few pulls with those more intermediate and finer tools, now you're getting to a place where it's just a skim coat. It, it's just a skim coat, it's just a glaze coat. And instead of having to do multiple coats, which Danny said he used to have to do before he did a lot of glue pull, he's doing one skim coat, right? Repeatable one skim coat. And so these are the, these are the reasons why when people might first think, uh, listen, I, I think I only want the level one, but when you really begin to examine it, the level 2E, you know, the finished stuff comes into play on nearly every repair. And so, um, you know, and, and honestly, another aspect of why we have level one versus level 2E, because listen, we believe, we just wholeheartedly believe that that level 2E system is that complete system that literally every shop needs and every technician needs. And, and we passionately try to help you to understand that. But obviously when you have something that covers the full repair continuum versus half the repair continuum, there's more tools in there. Um, and so therefore the, that carries a bit more cost. It's, a, it's just a bit pricier. Uh, and, and quite honestly, we've got uh, competitors out there that have good glue and some good tabs, but we honestly don't have anyone today that covers that full repair continuum as we do. And, and largely what we what the competition does is they try to cover that rough out piece, that half, you know, which is what our level one does, right? And so um, we wanted to be able to have that level one to be able to say, look, you know, it's not that we have a pricier system, it's that we have a full more capable system. And so therefore, you know, this, uh, this half the continuum, half the repair possibility system that, that is the level one is very much uh, similar to um, and actually in, in, in some cases exceeds what most folks have in their, in their full system. Um, uh, obviously the, the other difference, you know, when we get to full systems and level two ease is lighting because as you, when you're doing a rough out, uh, sometimes there's just so much information there that you don't even need the light, right? But when you now get to that finer detail stuff and being able to get to a place like we talked about earlier, where we're going to get it to a, a small hailed in or doored in to a blockable level where it doesn't require filler, then we're going to need to find the dead center of that dent. And we're going to need to be able to place that tab exactly there. And we're going to need the light to be able to do that. And then we're going to be able to find the dead center of that high spot to be able to move it down. We're going to need to be able to have the light to be able to help us do that. And so that light is a critical, critical piece of that level 2E system, that second, that right hand half of the continuum. And so, but uh, the light also drives a, a fair amount of, uh, of price in the system. So anyway, um, I, as probably most of you know, if you know me, I can talk about glue pull repair all day, uh, but hopefully just this video uh, has helped you to understand a little bit about what the differences is between our level one or our rough out system and our level two E system, which is our complete system. So um, anyway, uh, by all means, uh, tons more information about what we have and, and what's able to be accomplished with, with glue pull and with, with, with Kiko systems. So uh, kikotabs.com, uh, reach out to us, um, watch the videos, uh, give us a call. We will be happy to uh, answer any questions that you may have. Thank you.